The Classics have been entertaining as usual here at the National Capital Rally. Our third place getters, Tony Quinn and Kate Catford. Congratulations, mate. The BIM has done it. Yeah, look, this year, this year was um, all about finishing because last year we didn't. So it's been really good and Kate's, um, Kate's doing good notes and I'm doing excellent driving, yeah. but just not fast. Yeah. Excellent driving, keeping to the left and observing all the road rules. So I'm, I'm really improving. Okay, arguably you have probably the toughest job in the whole field. We, we feel trying to guide this guy through the forest or even on the road sections for that matter. How do you do it is the question. I actually think I have the funnest job because we have the most laughs. So no, look, we have a great time and I, he's a great driver. We did a good job. Can he steer or not? He can steer. He did right and left when I said it, so it was awesome. Clay Badnock and Andrew Dunbar. It's almost uh, history repeating itself. We had the same conversation in Perth. Another second, mate. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, last night we were dragging our lip thinking, um, <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing wrong here? But um, it all came together today and a bit of bad luck for Brett Stevens, of course. And, um, and, and we had a great day. We had, a, had good fun and um, we improved all day and the car's straight and here we are. And you get this sport, you can't give up though. Like you said, it had a rough first day, but it shows you keep persevering. This is what can happen. Yeah, look, I think we knew that we were going to be good in those stages today. I mean, the fast stuff in Cohen was uh, probably not suited to us, but Clay did really well. I mean, in the Corolla out at uh, around Tidbin Biller, and you know, we knew we could be fast in the in the Salika. So, and we you know showed exactly what we could do. So, it was good. Now that you're getting some consistent runs out of this car, you're starting to get that little enjoyment factor that they tell us we're supposed to get out of motorsport. Is that coming? Oh, definitely, yeah. Well, I always was. It, yeah. You know, regardless of what happened last year, I was still having fun. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's nice that we're, you know, the car's reliable yeah. and, and that's all comes down to us now and we can just build as a team like we're getting better yeah. and, uh, and the confidence will come, yeah. you know, so we're having fun. So winners the Classic here at National Capital Rally. Well done. Neil Bates and Coral Taylor have done it again and you love flying this thing around the forest. It wasn't without its little dramas, but you got there. Yeah, look, it was one of the toughest rallies I've ever done. I felt like we just did the uh, East African Safari. Like, uh, we had punches and we had uh, ripped a brake line off and lost brakes and a couple of spins and you name it. Uh, it's happened this weekend, so uh, you know, normally I just cruise through and it's all uh, very casual, but it was hard work this weekend. There's probably a couple of reasons to why that, isn't there, Coral? Go on, tell us why. He was thinking about Harry the whole rally. <laughs> Oh. You know what that makes? That, like, you look so good for how well oh, you did with Molly, don't you? Man, I? I tell you what, I thought I was really bad, but I've realised that I'm really good, and I've, but I've had more practice. <laughs> you had more you practice. Know, he, he's, yeah, he, his mind was with Harry, I guarantee you. And the you. thing was, I mean, like you said, you guys have won and run so much. You do have so much involved in this sport with your, you know, your kids doing as well as they are. It must be hard to focus on this. And you said to me yesterday, you do, when you're driving fast, you do have to, you know, it reminded you how much you have to focus. Yeah, look, yesterday morning, you know, this is Harry's first... ARC events, first time I've ever competed in a rally with him, so, you know, uh, I'm going through the stage thinking, oh, that's dangerous and hope he avoids that rock, hope he doesn't cut there, and, you know, I, I made several mistakes and totally my fault, and then in the afternoon after he came through the first group of stages, I went back out there and drove probably as well as I've ever driven yesterday afternoon, so, you know, I sort of relaxed and knew that he got through and he was repeating those stages and I was able to concentrate.